I heard a couple of weeks ago the reason why Kaylee Ray walked out of our match is because I'm not worth her time. She doesn't want to be in the ring with a has-been. Kaylee Ray, do you know who I am? I am a trailblazer in this industry. I am the foundation of modern women's wrestling. If it weren't for me, you wouldn't be here. Kaylee Ray, I'll be blunt with you. You are a brat. You are expecting people to kiss your ass as soon as you walk in the door, and if you don't get your way, you pout like a child and walk off in a fit. Why? Because you gave up everything back home to come to the States and apply your craft to a new audience and raise your star power? We aren't so different, Kaylee Ray. Much like every female wrestler, I put off starting a family for my career to get to this point where I am a legend in this industry. If you still believe I'm not worth your time, then maybe you shouldn't have ever laced up a pair of boots without thinking you'd face me at any point in your career. I'm not a stepping stone. I am a test to see if you still have the metal to survive. Well, ladies and gentlemen, sharp words there from Mickey James. We are kicking off the show this week with Montez Ford and Dolph Ziggler. We have to apologize in advance that there has been a audio issue, so there's going to be no crowd noise in this week's show. We will hope to get that issue addressed by next week's shows. And I am being told now from the network executive Craig Spencer that Mickey James will put her career on the line against Kaylee Ray at Winner's Wrath event. So that's at least one match confirmed. I can actually confirm for you a second match, actually two more. And we'll see Montez Ford versus Dawkins 2. And we'll see for the World Championship, Kevin Owens will finally get his rematch one-on-one -on -one against AJ Styles at Winner's Wrath. Neckbreaker there by Ziggler. Kick to the back of Ford. Ford with a monkey flip counter. And we are building towards Winner's Wrath. Cover here by Ford on Ziggler. Kick out at 1. And speaking of Kevin Owens, in our main event is going to be Kevin Owens versus Dominic Mysterio. So Ziggler side suplex into the kip up. As you can see, Ford just writhing in pain into the roll up here by Ziggler. Now Ford. Just taking punishment from Ziggler off the ropes into its drop kick, countered by, or deflected rather, by Ford, keeping control of the back of the neck of Ziggler. Ziggler fighting back here with a series of elbows into the abdomen of Ford, and of course that's going to pay dividends if Ford is able to hit the frog splash that he likes to hit on the top turnbuckle. Now Ziggler just choking the life out of Ford. Now Ziggler shoots the half, rolling him over, not even rolling or grabbing a leg to for the pinfall. Kick out. Ziggler going for the right outside kicks. Ziggler obviously more known for his grappling ability and not so much for the striking department, but Whatever he can bring to the table. DDT here by Ford. Into the cover now. Ford on Ziggler. Two count and Ziggler kicks out. And Ford can barely believe it at this moment. Up onto the shoulders out the back door goes Ziggler. Ziggler with a running famous sir. Catching. Ford off guard. Cover here. Hooks the leg. Kick out by Ford. Now Ziggler looking to put this match away here against Montez Ford. Going for the zigzag. On to Ford. Cover here by Ziggler. Two and three. That's going to do it. Ziggler picks up the win over Montez Ford.
As we take a look at the replay. Oh, well, no, we're not going to be looking at replays. We're cutting back to Ziggler. Ziggler relishing in his victory, but no, now he's going to taint it by attacking Ford. An unprovoked attack to soften up Ford for Winner's Wrath against Angelo Dawkins. If that's his motive, I have no idea. It's all a bit of a game plan. And here we go with our next matchup. Primo Cologne versus Frostbite of the Elements. Bit of a showcase match here for our talent down there in 2KCW. Frostbite one half of the Elements with his cousin Heatstroke. Taking it to Primo Cologne one half of the Randy Chaos Wrestling Tag Team Champions. What a... Feather in the cap. This would be for the elements that they're able to knock off the tag team champions here. Even put them high in the hunt for the tag team titles in 2KCW. German suplex by Primo. Into the corner running. Drop kick coming up empty. Stiff uppercut there by Heatstruck. Primo in a world of trouble right now. Against Frostbite, dropkick, beautifully done. And folks, tickets are still available for Random Cast Wrestling's Winner's Wrath. They'll be taking place in Buffalo, New York. Shoots the half, goes primo cover, kick out by Frostbite, and now Epico introducing a chair. Small package here by Primo. Kick out by Frostbite. Chair introduced by Epico. And oh, Primo's looking to take advantage of the situation. Frostbite able to drag the chair away from Primo. Great Werethal from Frostbite. And now Primo hung up into the tree of woe. And now, backstabber, a obviously a move used by all of the colognes. And now, Primo again, or excuse me, Epico up on the ring apron. Primo with a reverse DDT, or inverted DDT, rather. Epico just hanging out on the edge, trying to get as much of an advantage that he can for his cousin. And now, a bit of a... A knee bar here. He stroke able to, excuse me, Frostbite able to roll back onto his shoulders. Her around take down onto Primo. He stroke now with a leg drop right, right in the cojones of Primo. Frostbite. Dumping Primo up and over the top rope, out to the outside. Epico trying to play a little bit of gatekeeper here against Frostbite. I mean, Epico's obviously got to be aware of the referee's vision to make sure that he doesn't get caught, if that's what he's planning on doing here. But Primo taking advantage of the situation. Nonetheless, swing neck breaker from Primo. Elevated headbutt from Primo. In the back of the ring, we go with a count of seven from the referee. Great counter there by Frostbite. Primo to the side rush and leg sweep. Jawbreaker counter by Frostbite. Frostbite looking for something big here. Going for the outside right kicks. Frostbite not sure what to do at this moment in this juncture. Just stalking down the champion. One half of the tag champs rather. Going for a headlock takedown. Well not a headlock but a 
take down just using barely your and a low wrecking ball drop kick by Frostbite and Primo getting back in the ring into the corner running shoulder tackle by Primo and Frostbite seems to have an answer for everything that Primo is throwing at him which means that these two which means that Frostbite and he's struggling watching the tapes into the arm bar there. The Fujiwara onto Primo. That tilt the world Fujiwara arm bar. Primo going up to the top rope. What's he looking for here? On the top. Going for the splash into the abdomen. And now Heatstroke getting his two cents in after Primo, after Epico's been sticking his nose in the entire match. Now Primo looking for the backstabber. We saw Frostbite hit it to him from a different position from the Tree of Woe, but standing position, both legs hooked, and Primo picks up the victory over Frostbite. What a match between these two competitors in the tag team divisions of the respected shows. But, man, oh, man, that was a great matchup. We see a ton of the replays. There's that Fujiwara armbar I mentioned earlier from Frostbite. It ends in the splash. And there's the closing moment, the backstabber. You can never out, you can never outtake the, you can never outbeat the original user of the backstabber. That being all members of the Cologne family, it seems. Well, ladies and gentlemen, coming up next, it's going to be Paige versus Sasha Banks, where the winner will face Nikki Bella at Winner's Wrath. And here we go, co-main event, Sasha Banks and Paige. As you can see, Paige's protege, Killer Kelly, out on the outside. Snap suplex by Paige. Again, the winner of this match will face Nikki Bella at Winner's Wrath for the Women's Championship. Or Sasha, a former champion here. And now Sasha with a snap suplex to Paige. Okay, to the back, Paige, side rush and leg sweep. Both women focusing on the lower back, and of course, Paige with the page with the page tap out, the PTO, and then Sasha with the bank statement. And a rear chin lock applied here by Paige. Now Paige is squeezing the life out of Sasha Banks here. And Sasha facing two from the other direction from the ropes. Inside left kick, right kick there by Sasha. Into the drop kick into the back of Paige. Paige trying to count or make a comeback here. Running Meteora into the chest of Paige from Sasha. Cover here by Banks. Kick out, barely at one against Paige. Killer Kelly looking on. Back elbow, and of course we know the history between these two. That Paige put Sasha on the shelf after what should have been a, a TKO finish. But obviously that didn't come to pass. Cover here by Paige. Kick out of one by Sasha. Spinning back fist connects to Sasha. Off the ropes goes Banks. And Paige dumps her with a back body drop. And Paige trying to fire up here with that tribal scream. Kick out easily there by Sasha. 
Page another snap suplex was coming in. Sasha able to slide out the back. And then we'll do a backbreaker by Banks. Or excuse me, two Banks from Page. And now Page immediately going for the Page Turner. On to Sasha not going into the cover. Now she will decide to go into the cover off the Page Turner. Or they're getting a little bit more dirt in the eye of Page, Sasha. Paige now looking for the rampage to put this match away and punch her ticket to Nikki Bella in the women's championship. If she can do it, rampage DDT. Connects to Sasha rolling into the cover. That's maybe it. Two. No, Sasha kicks out of the rampage. And Paige can barely believe it. Paige going up to the top turnbuckle, which we don't see very often. From Paige, and I think this may cost her dearly here. Whatever she's going for, diving double axe handle. And again, the tribal scream echoing throughout the arena if you're able to hear it. Obviously, not the folks at home, but the executive order from Pay from Sasha, excuse me. From out of nowhere, the executive order rolling to the cover, kick out by Paige. That wheelbarrow bulldog from Sasha just coming in hot out of nowhere. The executive order. Now Sasha mounting a comeback here. Against Paige. The former women's champion coming in. Swinging. There's the bankrupt by Sasha. Into the cover. Be enough to put away Paige, and it is Sasha Banks. Pigs of the victory with the bankrupt. And if that happens, in a couple of weeks, we may be looking at a new women's champion. And Sasha Banks. Maybe Killer Kelly can take some notes on what she was just witnessing from this matchup. And we see Paige going for the rampage, thinking that may have been the end of the matchup, but Sasha still continued to fight out of the rampage. And there's the executive order from Sasha. Which wasn't enough to put away the match either until she's able to hit the bankrupt. And may that be a sign of things to come. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for our main event Dominic Mysterio and Kevin Owens. And here we go collar and elbow tie up. And Kevin just shoving off Dom. Another collar and elbow tie of Kevin Owens. Owens this time with a side headlock. Off the ropes goes Owens. Duck under from Mysterio. Mysterio is lighting up. Kevin Owens. Series of strikes. Kicks rather super kick. Missing. Kevin going for the belly to belly suplex. Of course Dominic still under the learning tree of AJ Styles. The current world champion. Inside. Kick there by Kevin. And drop toe hold by Dominic. And these two just going tip for tap here. My goodness. Dominic off the ropes with a running splash. To the former world champion. Yes, Kevin Owens finally getting his one-on-one -on -one rematch after the events that happened at Gala. Or AJ rolled up Kevin, even though his feet were well within the ropes to force a break, but the referee didn't see it, and Kevin, the way he sees it, he was screwed out of the world title. Shoots the half, barely a one count from Dominic. And Kevin finally getting his one-on-one -on -one match against AJ Styles' Falcon Arrow. Excuse me, Mishinoku Driver. And now Kevin slowing the pace down to the way that he prefers it. 
Wrist lock control. My goodness. Drop toe hold into the middle rope from. And that may be. May have been intentional because that's how Dominic and his father Ray set up for the 619, that tiger faint kick. Whether that was intentional or not, that was a definite sign of things to come. Kevin got Dominic into the corner, going for the cannonball. Nowhere for Dom to go. Now Owens. Sending Dom for a ride with the pop-up powerbomb. Rolling into the cover and AJ immediately pulling out the referee. And by doing that, he's definitely inserted himself into the conscience. To the conscience of Kevin Owens. Into the headspace. Luthez press here by... Dominic. Cover here by Dom onto Owens. Kick out by Kevin. Kevin Owens. And now into a seated abdominal stretch here by Dominic. Thought he was going for a chin lock, but a seated abdominal stretch. Wearing out Owens. Owens fighting back here. With closed right fist into the abdomen. Good thing that Dom's wearing that protective vest for however much protection it can do. And they're coming up here against a prize fighter. Kevin shoots to half. No legs hooked. Kick out at one. And that's why you need to hook the leg. Even though I think Kevin, I would assume Kevin Owens knows that. But don't, don't ever count out just brute force and ignorance. Uppercut there by Dominic. Off the ropes goes Owens. And now there's that rolling kick again. That's how Dominic won his last match against Angelo Dawkins. Give me enough to put away Kevin. No. Dominic pulled that rabbit out of the hat against Angelo Dawkins last week. You're on strike zone into the corner goes Owens. And now Dom, top turnbuckle, seated senton, ducks under the clothesline, into the splash, into the wheelbarrow, face buster from Dominic Mysterio. Of course, Dominic, a former Twitch champion, and going for the Luthez press to Kevin Owens. I think he may have busted open Kevin right over his left eyebrow. Both legs hooked, or one leg hooked, and only a two count from Dominic. Now Dom standing, shooting star press. To Kevin Owens, the former world champion. Dominic is getting the teachings of AJ Styles. As Dominic climbs up to the top, turnbuckle. Trying to use the frog splash used by Uncle Eddie into the elbow drop. Just barely missing its mark. Dominic again going up to the top turnbuckle. If Dom can beat Kevin Owens here, that would solidify himself into a main event slot. But Kevin getting the knees up. Kevin maybe looking for the pop up power bomb there. Sending drop kick. Barely collapsing, Kevin Owens. And now Dominic wrenching the right arm of Kevin Owens. Obviously, that's going to play a role into trying to hit that pop up power bomb. Kevin Owens almost dead center in the ring. Dominic not going for the frog splash yet. Going for here, Cena and Hurricane Rana, rather. Into the cover. He's a kid you. Continue that momentum into the cover. Kick out by Owens. Dominic again. Another Luthez press. To the world champion. And that blood is just starting to spill. More and more out of the forehead of the ch former champion. So up insecurity missing by Dominic. 
Owens. Oh no, Owens. Kevin Owens going for the package pile driver. To Dominic into the cover. Two and three. Kevin Owens does not need to use the pump up power bomb. He can use the package pile driver to put away his opponents, and he did that just there against Dominic Mysterio. An emphatic win for Kevin Owens as he's looking to finally get his one on one rematch against AJ Styles at Winner's Wrath. That could have been the beginning of the end there. If Dominic was able to hit that frog splash, if Kevin didn't get the knees up. And Owens wearing the wounds of battle. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for our show this week. Thank you guys so much for watching. And please consider subscribing and dropping a like on this video. And we will see you right here next week on the strike zone.